Uh, my name is Alvin Peter Marks of the branch with the U.S. Navy, and uh, I was assigned to USS Dobbin, which was an AD-3, but it was an auxiliary destroyer tender. In the morning, I, came, I went down for breakfast, got up, came up on the, up to the shop there, and I was in the shop, and then I, all of a sudden I hear this whistling sound, and then a, uh, an explosion off at Hickam Field. You could see it because I was on the top deck. All I did was look off to the side there and went out on the deck there and when we got there, there was a second plane came down, seeing the bomb bomb drop again, you know, on Hickam Field, two of them. There was a matter of confusion at this point. The fact is that they, uh, uh, the quarter deck uh, announced fire and rescue uh, drill or whatever it is uh, for stations. So on those, on the Navy at that point, whenever they announced any drill, you had to go to your assembly point, which was your division set on board ship. And it was on the main deck that uh, we had our uh, uh, division. And as we went there, all of a sudden the plane came shooting right across and we're on the top deck and it was coming right at us, a little flying plane. And it flew down and then made a, a left turn, went right in front of us on board our uh, starboard side of the ship. And then it was headed towards Ford Island, which we were just on the outside of it. And uh, it was then, you know, I saw the blooming red dot again, and I saw the stripe going around it. And, the, you, know, and you could see the Japanese <coughs> uh, pilot and the, the commander in back. Then we got our order for uh, uh, battle stations all hands uh, man your battle stations. And I went down below <coughs> to my station where I was only on a, an ammunition passer. That was on uh, my previous duty. I've never been trained on it because they all they did was assign me as ammunition trainer and that was it. So not no um, big deal about it. So I went there and the chief came up at that point and said, get down below and help uh, close up the cargo hatch on the side of the ship because that was open. So I went down the machine shop, went to the cargo hatch, I went out on the ledge there and was trying to figure out what in the hell to do. But I didn't know what, what was what because I had not, nothing ever, anything to do with that blooming thing. But it was at that point when I was on the ledge and I was only about one foot away from the water, I heard this boom, 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 and a series of explosions. So I happened to turn around looking back and that's when the Arizona blew up. I'm looking at it, you know, I'm, uh oh, you know, we better get inside real quick or whatever it is. Not that it would make any difference if I'd, if I'd known that this ship had just been blown up. And uh, what uh, the striking part of it was, was the fact that it blew up. And, you know, it was a momentary shock. But then when you saw the, the forward mass keep over, just like uh, the pictures depicted it later. You know? And uh, it seemed like it was going, the whole thing, the ship was going down an escalator. You know, it was going real fast as if it was taking off somewhere, but it didn't. But it was going down into the hole of what was created by the explosion of uh, in, on the forward part of the ship. So at that point, I uh, got out of there and I went, uh, eventually got, uh, asked the chief what in the world to do. We got the door shut and so forth. He said, well, I have to ask the wrong person because at that point, this chief just came up from a uh, supply uh, area down below the deck of the machine shop and uh, he had a, a crate of lettuce. And he, I looked at him and I says, what do you want me to do? And he says, well, take this lettuce to the second destroyer over. Grabbed that, I ran over there, and I dropped it under the galley. Then as I was coming back, I came back to uh, the, the cargo hatch on the port side, which was connected to the destroyers that was tied up to us. And as I'm looking up, uh, this guy comes out, uh, one of the quarter deck watch came up, and he says, what are you doing? I says, I just dropped something off. I says, and I'm looking at him, and he was oblivious of the fact is that we were under attack. So I looked up at the sky there, and uh, the, there's a squadron of Japanese planes. There was about six of them just flying majestically over. And you had to actually marvel at them, you know. You know, you're looking up at them, and they're flying over. 
And it was that, you know, I was a little unnerved at that point, but seeing them up and over there and seeing that they had passed calmed me down a little bit. And uh, I was watching uh, the 40 millimeter guns on the back of one of the destroyers, the, the only gun that was on, on, uh, in operation. We had three other ships there. That it was completely, there wasn't anybody there at the target.